hey out there in YouTube land, it's me Alex. I'm coming at you today with a special occasion. It's a Mac haul, but a Mac Liberty of London haul. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know, I felt the need to say that. Um, for all those who are unfamiliar with Liberty of London, it's a high-end clothing line. They sell menswear, women's wear, bathing suits, bags, scarves, all that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm moving the camera a smidgen. <laughs> um, and they came together with Mac and decided to come up with a line. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these things, uh, probably because of, um, the launch parties that they had for the uh, Liberty of London, but I wanted to show you what I got from that. So, um, we'll start off with the face stuff. Um, I, there were two blushes. One was Dirty Plum, which just came out with the Riveting Collection, and is also a pro color, so I already owned it. And the other color is Prim and Proper, and I want to say that this has come out with another collection, but I'm not sure. First, I'll start off with the box. Like, how cute is that? The little sparrow holding the berry. Very Liberty of London. If you go on their website, I think it's libertyoflondon.com, you can see they have all these kind of abstract patterns and stuff, and that's kind of the appeal of what they are. Um, really well-tailored, well-made items with kind of abstract um, shapes, and, like, this is all white with just the birds colored and stuff like that. Inside, we have these really pretty flowers, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but it says Liberty of London and Mac. On the top. So anyways, the first thing that I got is the blush, the one of the two blushes, and it's in prim and proper, and it's a satin. Here's the top, it's a raised, and this is really, really pretty. It looks kind of dark. I had swatched it on my hand, but it looks really dark, but what it does is it warms up your face. I'm very pale, so I was kind of like, eh, I don't know how this is going to look on me. But the makeup artist tried it on me, and it, um, or not on me, but she tried it like on my arm, and I've washed it off since. But it was like a really warm, um, it does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's very warm and very pretty. I got both, oh, I just ripped my box. Ooh. Both beauty powders. Um, again, the box is just the same with the birds and the inside. This first one is Shell Pearl, and I forgot which collection this came out in, but it is a repromote. These are my first beauty powders, and um, this came out, like I said, not sure what collection, um, and they're really, really pretty, and they're meant to just kind of like dust all over the face um, after you have your makeup on or in lieu of blush or whatnot, and Shell Pearl is really, really pretty kind of like a light peach. Um, you can kind of see it on my hand right there. Really, really pretty. I'm super excited about that. And then I got the second beauty powder, and I'm excited because this actually came out with the Rose Romance collection. And if you remember, in the Rose Romance, they had the embossing, the embossed rose petals on the top. And when I was swatching it, I was like not getting any color. And, um, it was because of the embossing. You had to, like, scrub and scrub and scrub. Well, here it is again, Summer Rose. And when you swatch this, you get, like, a really pretty pink color. Like, you would not get that with the Rose Romance one. Like, you would not get that color pink. Okay, now on to lippy stuff. Um, I got two of the four lipsticks. So, here's the lipsticks. You know, they come in the packaging, and they slip out. This first one is Blooming Lovely and it is absolutely gorgeous. I just recently 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 bought up the amp and I am in love and I never thought I'd be in love with purple lipsticks ever. Um, this is an amplified cream. Look how cute that packaging is. Like really cute. And it's a beautiful purple. Now this is kind of like to me up the amp and lavender whip put together. I don't have lavender lavender whip I always wanted to get it, I just never picked it up. But look how pretty that is. So beautiful. I'm super excited. And the packaging is really cute. I've never really been kind of a package whore. But, um, this stuff's actually really dang cute. Um, <laughs> and the other lipstick that I got, 
excuse me, sorry again that cough, it's still here, is Ever Hip. And you know me and my corals and oranges, I've been feeling them. And this ain't anything different. It's beautiful coral orange. Um, this too I think is an, no this is a cream sheen. Very pigmented, very pretty. Look at that, look how pretty that orange is. I can't wait to wear it. Okay, and I got one of the lip glosses out of the four. Um, there was one that looked like Sock Hop. If you have that from the Heatherette collection, if not, then I would definitely go out and get it in this collection. It's a really pretty coral, creamy coral color. Um, the other one's a really dark plum purple brown with lots of sparkles, and that one's really, really pretty, but I feel like I've got, you know, my dazzle glasses are like that. And the other one, the third one, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> look like Purr, which is a dupe for Love Nectar. So the one, only one that I was really interested in is the um, English Accents. And it's a really pretty purple. This is like ridiculous. It's like a, a lav it's like lavender and pink put together. I can't imagine what it looks like on top of the uh, blooming lipstick. <clears throat> Absolutely, they did they did a great job. Like they did a good job releasing this at like they released this the perfect time. Spring's right around the corner. My birthday's right around the corner. <laughs> um, but the colors are just. You know, there's, there's no more creams and no more nudes, no more nothing like that. Um, it's it's all about spring now, and that's what's great. Now on to the eyeshadows. There were five. Um, I only got four. Only got four. The fifth one is Free to Be, and that is actually a newly added color to the MAC Permanent line, so you can pick it up anytime if you want. It's, you know, it's kind of like a pastel red is like the best way to, I guess, describe it. But, um... So the one, the one that I was most excited about is Bao Gray. It's a satin, and it's really, really pretty. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to swatch these guys. If you want to look at some great swatches, Temtalia.com. It's got some wonderful swatches. Lipsticks are always easier to do, which is why I did that. But Bao Gray, I'm really super stoked for this. It comes out a beautiful, like, true gray. That is so exciting. Um, this next one is... One that wasn't on Temptelia's website, if you were checking it out for this line, until recently. And this is Give Me Liberty of London, and it's a matte. And it's this really pretty baby baby pink with blue undertone. Um, I do have, like, mink pink, and I do have uh, pen and pink, but those are a little bit more gray pink mattes. This is a, like I said, a, a blue pink matte. And when I first swatched it on my hand, it was kind of like... It's really, really chalky. I'm not sure if... And there was, like, no color payoff. Well, the MA came over, and she's like, girl, you gotta put painterly on. So she put painterly on her hand, took this, and dabbed it on, almost like a pigment, and it was, like... It was, like, the Lady Gaga lipstick on your eyes. It was so pretty. I really, really loved it. This next one came out with the Dame Edna collection, but it came out in one of the trios, and I wasn't really crazy about the other ones that were in the trio, so I'm happy that MAC re-released it in a single pot form, and it's Dame's Desire. Really pretty iridescent purple. It's a frost. Really, really pretty. I'm excited for that. And last but not least, everybody was like, oh, you know, you don't really need to get this. It's like a cross between this and that and this. I agree and disagree. If you have teal pigment by MAC, I don't think you need to get this. Um, I have a sample of teal. And they're very, 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 very similar. If you don't have teal pigment, run your butt out and get it. Um, or not teal pigment, but get this if you can. It's birds and berries, and it's a really pretty teal green, but it's a little bit darker. I really, really... It's, it's like if you were to put, you know, a black shade stick on and then pat teal pigment on top. Like, that's exactly what you would get. Um, so... I will be doing a look with these colors relatively soon. I'm super, super excited. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you guys got. Uh, if there was anything exciting that you liked from this collection. And um, I will talk to you all very, 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 very soon.
Take care.